This is my Playwright demo project and I will use it for this demo. It has just three tests and if I run those tests, so this is article spec.ts, it will uh, create the mock article, then it will test the deletion of the article and then creation of the article through the UI, just like this. And I'm closing this, all tests passed. So how would you run this on the GitHub action? So first of all, you will need two required components. You need a GitHub account and you need Git to be installed on your computer. How do you know if the Git is already installed? So go to the terminal and type git dash v and hit enter. So if you see a message like this, like git version in my example 243, it means git is installed on your computer. If not, you go over here git scm.com, download and install git for your computer for Mac or for Windows. Just follow the instructions over here. The next step, you go to your GitHub uh, repository. This is my repository. I will use it as an example and I need to create a new repository. Click a new button and then provide any friendly name. For example, conduit demo run, something like this. Then you can provide description if you want. I will not do anything. We'll keep it public and just a create repository. After a new repository is created, uh, Git gives you just the suggestions. If you uh, want to set the Git repository from scratch, if your project do not have any GitHub uh, repository or Git repository attached to it, or you want to push the existing local Git repository to uh, GitHub. In my example, my project does not have any Git repository initialized, so I'll just copy the whole thing. What it's gonna do, it's initialize the Git, it will create a readme file, and it will create a first commit, push this to the main branch, uh, then it will point to remote origin on the GitHub and push this commit to the remote origin branch. So I will copy all this stuff and just go to my terminal, paste it here and execute. Okay, after that thing is done, if I go back and just refresh the page, and here we go, my empty repository with the readme file was just created. So now I need just to push all my code over there. So going back to Visual Studio Code, uh, for the convenience, I go to this source control tab, then I type my commit message, for example, push all code like this, uh, click commit and sync changes. And all my changes sync with the GitHub. I'm going back, click refresh, and everything what was on my computer now on the GitHub. So now once your code on the GitHub, you can start configuring GitHub actions, running your test uh, on the GitHub on CI server. What would you need for that? I opening the Playwright documentation, setting up CI uh, server, and here the very first thing is the instructions how to set GitHub actions. First of all, we need to create a GitHub folder and the workflows folder underneath. So going back to the project and let's create this. So new folder will have a name dot GitHub done. Then under this folder, I need to create folder work flows. Is it workflows? Yeah, workflows. And then we need to create a file, for example, playrate.yaml, or it can be any other name, but it should be a YAML file. This is where the script for CI server will be located. I will call it as well, playwright YAML file. Uh, that's it. And then I copy uh, just one to one these settings that Playwright gives us as a suggestion, as a starting point and pasting over here. So now let's review it together, what it has. So this is defines the trigger when the uh, test will be triggered automatically. For example, when you push any code to the main or master branch, the GitHub action will be triggered and the code and the test will be executed. Or on the pull request, same thing. If the pull request created for the main on the master branch, then the tests will be executed. Then just the standard stuff. Some uh, check out the code, set up Node.js, uh, LTS version of Node.js, then install the dependencies, 
then install playwright dependencies, then uh, run npx test. So this command you can replace to whatever you need. Let's say you want to run some spec file or some specific browser and so on. So this npx playwright test is just the npm script that you can replace to your own script uh, from the playwright that you normally run through the command line and then use the playwright reporter and yeah that's it that's it so this stuff is ready now let's push those changes so i create a new commit message and edit yaml file like this i hit commit and synchronize all right so let's go back to the github actions see what's going to happen there so I hit refresh. So first of all, we see that new file was added to the repository. And now I can navigate to this action tab and look a new uh, file or the new job is running. So it is in the progress. You see the latest commit message, edit YAML file. So the commit message that I type in Visual Studio Code, print it over here just for the convenience to know what we are dealing with. Then we can click on this process that is currently running and you can see the execution process. So currently is installing the Playwright browsers. So this process, once the installation will be completed, then it kicks in the uh, Playwright test execution. And uh, the process of installing the browser, it should be completed every time uh, you run the um, GitHub action because the whole thing is set up from scratch. Uh, the CI server on the GitHub actions doesn't know anything about the job that you want to do. So it need to clone and install all dependencies required to uh, run your test. So let me speed up a little bit this video right now uh, and I'll wait until the installation will be completed. All right, so now installation is completed and it's running our test. So it's showing four tests because I have three tests and one test is related to authentication. So that's why it's counting as four tests and all tests pass successfully. It's setting up the job complete and uh, that's it. So everything works successfully. Let's see if we have any uh, artifacts, yeah, and Playwright report uh, was attached to this build. So if you want, you can download this report to review. But this is not very convenient. Um, if you want to know some little bit more details, especially when test fails, so this just, you know, for test pass not gives you much of the insights. But we can easily enhance this setup. So if I go to the Playwright and to Playwright configuration file, here we currently have only HTML reporter, but I can add a second reporter. So if to do that, I put the array uh, like this, and then values of each of the reporter, I can add to another uh, mini arrays, if you will. And there is a separate a dedicated GitHub reporter that gives you like more insights and GitHub actions about the test execution. Okay, so I added this reporter and let me fail one of my tests on purpose. For example, should fail. I will uh, modify this assertion to intentionally fail the first test. And I'm going to push these changes one more time. So edit uh, GitHub reporter like this, commit and syncing the changes, pushing it again to the GitHub Actions and going back. So I click into the Actions tab again and look, a new job was added. So it's currently in queued status. And if I refresh it, and now it is in progress. So we need to wait, you know, one more time, one more build. Uh, it's installing the Playwright browsers. Yeah, it's going to take some time. So I'll speed this up this video one more time. All right, running the tests and one of the tests should fail right now and it should generate a reporter for us. All right, job is completed. Now, if I go back over here to the summary of this job, scrolling a little bit down, over here and look a new section of annotations was added to this job with the details of the failed test so 
uh, the test failed you can click on show more and that's exactly the log of the failed test so this is where the failure happened article spec that TS, uh, the reason of the failure that uh, locator expected string this one but received this one and uh, it can give you enough information to debug the test and understand what happening and uh, you know maybe running this test one more time and speaking of which if you want to run the same job one more time so you can go over here and here is the drop down rerun all jobs or rerun failed jobs currently our pipeline or our job we have just a single job called test so no matter what you select over here rerun all jobs or rerun failed jobs it will trigger this job to run again if you want to rerun your test on the github actions so that's it guys so simple and straightforward process the nice thing about it that github actions is like completely free you can use it and run your test outside of your computer and you know create this convenient setup when on every modification push or change of your code it will automatically trigger the test execution and then give you the feedback so if you like this kind of video put the likes and subscribe as always and uh, i'll see you next week 